Hi there, I'm Erin, and I'm here to introduce you to the R2 Migrator, a powerful tool that simplifies the process of moving your data to R2. Today, I'll walk you through how to use the R2 Migrator to seamlessly transfer your data and unlock the benefits of our object storage platform. Ready to get started? Let's dive in. We'll first start by setting up your environment. To begin, ensure you've created your R2 bucket and you also have your access credentials ready. I already have an R2 demo bucket ready to go, and I'll go ahead and start by walking through those credentials creation tool. I will go to the API button and click Manage API Tokens. Here, I'll click to create a new API token, and I will name it Demo. Depending on your use case, you can decide which level of permissions you want to assign to this API token, but for the sake of this demo, I'm going to give it the highest level of permissions, which is admin, read, and write. I'll then click to create the API token. And here, I see that it was successfully created, and I will go ahead and copy over the access key ID and also the secret access key. You'll need these two credentials later on in the migration flow. I'll go ahead and click Finish. Now that I have my R2 demo bucket ready to go and my credentials copied, I'm now going to go ahead and go to the data migration page. Once I'm here, I'm going to go ahead and click Migrate Files. To start, I'll need to define my source and also provide the credentials. I've already created an Amazon S3 bucket, so the source provider is selected as Amazon S3, and the name for my Amazon S3 bucket is AWS-2-R2-Migrator. Earlier on, I created my access key ID and secret access key in the AWS Identity and Access Management dashboard, so I'll go ahead and copy those credentials over. There is one option to define a rule, which is the bucket subpath, but for the sake of this demo, I'm going to go ahead and skip that step. I'll then click Next. And now I will provide the details for my destination R2 bucket. In this instance, I'm going to select an existing R2 bucket in my account, which is the R2 demo bucket that I previously created. I'm then going to go ahead and copy over those credentials that I previously created in the Manage API Tokens workflow. And here I have an option to either overwrite existing files that are already in my bucket, or I can skip them. I'll go ahead and click Yes Overwrite since it is recommended by our R2 platform. After providing all of my credentials needed for the source bucket and also destination bucket, I now can review all of the details I have given and make sure that the credentials are valid and then go ahead and click Migrate Files. I can now see that the migration is processing. I'll be able to find the amount of files that are existing inside of the AWS bucket the number of files that have migrated, errors, and skipped. And now I see that I have a successful migration and it's showing me where my migrated files landed. And if I want to click there, it will take me to that bucket. And I also have the ability to download the migration log if I am interested in those details. I want to thank you for joining me today in the R2 Migrator demo. And I really hope that you all were able to follow along and hopefully learn something new.